I'm back. Just got done turning the compost pile. And as I did it, I was adding some of the some of the, the mulch there. Um, just little by little. Maybe in total, maybe like three quarters of a cubic yard at most of mulch. And I worked that in, so I do... I don't know, 10, 15 pitchforks of the existing compost, and then I layer in three or four pitchforks of the mulch. I don't want, I don't want too much carbon in there, but I want to keep a ratio of about 25 to 75, 25 nitrogen, 75 of the uh, carbon um, to make good compost. So some people say 50-50. Uh, everything I hear it keeps going back to 2575. So until I hear different or see different, we're going to stick with that. The main reason I wanted to make this video, man, I'm winded. I'm sorry. Whew. That is hard work, man. I got no machines. <laughs> All right. The reason I'm making this video is because I want to show, I found a good example of why I want to switch to no-till and why no-till is is so much more efficient all right now out here there's nothing out here we're in the middle of field out here okay and this hasn't been touched this is all virgin soil but this is the main area where i used to dump my debris when i was getting leaf cleanups and uh, lawn debris and all of that stuff okay so this soil has never never been turned over and I want to show you how that is amazing all right I was looking we're going to try to do this I got a glare so I can't really see a whole bunch okay but if you look down here if you look down here you see this little little divot here okay looks like normal grass okay looks like normal grass but when you dig in like look look at the soil look how loose you see how loose that is like I can, I'm digging in no problem. See that? That right there. I'm going down. Uh, I don't even know five, six inches. Okay, that is no till. I do not know a better example of why no till is amazing. All right, to get this kind of like this is looser. This is looser than my tiller. Okay. And since this has been organic matter over organic matter over organic matter over and over and over again, this right there is the benefit of all of that. That is such nutritious and aerated soil. It's amazing stuff. And that's why no-till is so much more efficient. The amount of moisture that that will hold it's amazing. The amount of nutrients that that'll feed your plants, it's overwhelming in there. And it's all because of no-till. You let it let it sit and rot. You aerate it by turning the uh, compost pile. But your whole garden should look like that. Okay? When you till it up, that first rainfall, everything gets compacted down. But if you no-till it, the existing plants keep the shade on the on the soil so you're not getting excessive water loss from the heat and evaporation and it's filled with organic matter and nutrients so it's kind of a win-win and you could see you could see where the pile was right over all here all that was the pile now I just moved it over so this was the third turn, and as I added, as I added the uh, mulch into it, I compensated with a little bit of uh, the the fish hydrolysate, hydrolysate uh, to kind of counter some of the nitrogen loss that some of the wood chips, before they fully break down, they they can actually absorb some of the nitrogen in the system. So I'm hoping adding some of the fish will uh, counteract that nitrogen and, and it won't deplete it. Not to mention 
the the microbial growth that'll develop from that fish. And then yesterday with the compost tea, anything that was left over, I pour on my compost pile. So now I know that my compost pile is inoculated with all of that beneficial bacteria and microbial growth. So hopefully in a week or so, maybe two weeks, this will be some amazing compost. So that is what we're up to today. I hope you all learned something. All right. Happy farming. Later, y'all.